Guess who's back? Back again. Truth is back. Don't tell a friend. Uh, anyway, okay, I know that was kind of lame, but uh, quick video here. Gotta stop saying but, uh, but, uh. It's getting fucking annoying, I know. Looks like Truth is back already again with a nine and a half minute, ten minute video where you have a couple seconds of him. And then all of a sudden it goes still for about 10 minutes. Anybody get what the fuck he's doing here? First of all, he did come back. We all knew he would come back. So thanks again for showing what a fucking retard you are. You can't even keep to your own promises. Trying to start a fucking gamers union and try to say that it's all neutral and shit, but you can't even keep a promise that you're going to stay away from YouTube. Yeah, bravo, brother. Bravo, bravo. Now, this may just be a minor comeback. He may not come back at all, but let's face it, we all know he will. Because, you know, even though that he gets talked shit to a lot, and a lot of people just like talking shit about him and everything, you know he's going to come back. He won't stay away. He's, he's too much wanting the attention, kind of like I am right here. <laughs> But he likes the attention too much to stay away. Plus, he likes trying to get his voice across and to get people to look into his way of thinking. So, I will say this. You know, within... I'm giving it... Let's see. I want to say... Four days. Today is Tuesday. So, I give it to... What's that? Saturday? Saturday, let's just say this weekend... Pretty much by the time the Final Four is over, he'll be back. Maybe not with all of his videos, but he'll be back with some newer videos, or he'll try to do some more retarded stuff that he's doing now. Of course, it's not helping that I'm giving him attention by making this fucking video. So, I'm going to switch gears real quick and go on to something else in the gaming news sector. Since I seem to get a lot of positive feedback about my Call of Duty uh, video that I put up. Now, this next deal that I'm going to say is about Sony again and their new firmware update, 3.21 I believe it is, that they're going to release on April 1st. Now, before I get into the details of this, for those of you who don't know about it, a lot of people thought this was fake because they said it was going to be released on April 1st. And for those of you who are not here from the U.S. or don't necessarily celebrate this or know about this, April 1st is April Fool's Day. Which is basically a joke pranking day where a lot of video game magazines and video game websites will post some bogus news about the industry or about something going on. And then about a month or so later, or maybe a few weeks later, they'll be like, ha ha ha, April Fools, so we got you, ha ha, trick. For those of you who have been around long enough, uh, of course, 8 Bitch probably won't remember this because he was too fucking young at the time, but back in 1991, one of the very first and most famous April Fool's jokes in gaming history was done in the April issue of EGM with the uh, Shang Long in Street Fighter 2 bit that they tried to pass off. It's kind of funny too because they talked about the April Fool's deal being hit in their magazine on the same page as that story. So a uh, little retro news for you out there. If you want to read more about it, just look for EGM April Fool's on Wikipedia or whatever and I'll bring it up and tell you more about it. So anyway, this firmware update is going to take away the other install, other OS feature in older PS3 models. Now to me personally, I don't fucking care because I don't use it. I got a computer to do computer things with, like to upload and edit this video and to put it on YouTube. And I got a console to play console and do console shit. Or play console games and do console shit. So it doesn't really affect me, but it is kind of disconcerting to those who actually use this feature. And apparently Sony decided to do this because that one fucking dumbass who probably hacked the PS3, he did it through the other OS feature. I believe he used Linux to hack it or some shit, so they're taking it away. It's amazing too that with each new generation of SKUs that are coming out for the PlayStation 3, Sony seems to be taking away features that they said that they were going to keep on or that they said was going to differentiate them from Microsoft and the Xbox 360, 
uh, ever since the beginning. Uh, let's face it, from the first set of SKUs they had to the second set, like I got the 80 gig fat, which I think is in the second set of SKUs, there's about three or four missing USB ports and also the hardware backwards compatibility emulation on the system. Now, when they went to the PS3 Slim, they decided to take out the install other OS feature there. Now, a lot of people don't really care about it because it was saying on the box it was a feature, but they took it out. Oh, another thing from the first gen to the second gen, or the first set of SKUs to the second SKU, also the media card reader, which those things you can buy a media card reader for like 10 bucks. So why they took it out to save money, I don't fucking know. And of course, too, they now have just emulation backwards compatibility, so not all games are backwards compatible and you can't use them on PS3, similar to the 360, but yeah, I don't really fucking care about that either. But it was a feature that they decided to take away. Now, by taking out the install other OS feature, they're basically retro, doing a retroactive thing that originally started with the release of the PS3 Slam. Now, is this still an April Fool's joke? It could be, but I've read on a number of sites that this actually is something that's going live. And I gotta tell you, granted, I never use the feature, and a lot of the features, like the web browser and shit, I don't even use. But for those who use it, this fucking sucks. And it's kind of going back on a promise that Sony had, saying that they weren't gonna mess with their stuff too much. And granted, I know they're trying to do it to be safe, but from my understanding, the guy who actually hacked the PS3, he said it took him like a long ass time to do it. It's not that easy to do. It involves uh, mod chips, soldering, software, programming. Basically something that the normal Joe couldn't do. So, you know, Sony's caving in pretty easily on this. Whereas like with all the hacking on the Xbox 360, Microsoft just said, fuck it, we'll let them do it, but they can't go online. Oh well. So, if anybody wants to make any comments on this, feel free to leave a message down at the bottom. If you notice on this video too, I try to curtail my cursing a little bit, and also talk a little bit more about the gaming industry. Pretty much, I'm going to try to shake up my videos a little bit. I'll do a couple of hater vids here, a couple of hater vids there, and then I'll try to do something on news like with this and the Call of Duty Black Ops. So, if anybody likes to hear more of the stuff going on in the industry, or if somebody wants to hear my views on something, just leave a comment down below. If you want me to keep doing the hater videos, leave a comment down below. Don't worry, I'll still be doing those, okay? Don't think I won't, because I will. And basically, for any other thing you want to say, just go ahead and drop it down below. Just drop it down below, tell me what you think. If you like it, cool. If not, cool. I'm just doing this because I wanted to do something a little bit different and I had really nothing to talk about on any videos that anybody has done. Although I will say prize award, man. Great job on that Brett Favre reference, dude. That was fucking genius. That was fucking genius, man. That probably is the best analogy when it comes to truth I've ever heard on YouTube. Man, that was genius. I wish I could have come up with that, but I couldn't. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the vid. If not, fuck you. I don't really care. I'll be back to normal form. And also doing a couple other things different here in the next video or two. Uh, though I may not be able to do anything until the weekend just because I got some shit going on at work in the next couple days. That's going to keep me tied up. So, anyway, leave a comment if you like. Subscribe if you like. Rate it if you like. You know still say shit about me wearing the mask i really don't fucking care we should watch the vid so talk to you guys later once again truth if you're gonna come back come back the right way just put up a video saying you know what i was full of shit i'm gonna keep going up on youtube i don't want to stop doing youtube and yeah i was a little bitch i was a little pussy and i went ahead and got into a little hissy fit and pretty much just took my sight down just because I was whining and because I was throwing a hissy fit and being a little girl. Kind of like whenever, you know, little kids are playing, somebody, one kid does something to the other and then they're like, no, you're not going to play with my toy no more. I don't want to play with you. I'm going to go run away. And then they run away for about an hour or so. Then they come back. Come on, let's go ahead back and play. Let's go back and play. Come on, let's play. Here's my toy. Here, let's, let's go play. That's what you're doing, dude. You're being the